Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 8 of Ajax. In this video, we will discuss about the important control in Ajax that is update panel. It is a very powerful control in Ajax. So, update panel controls enables us to build rich client centric web applications. That is by using update panel, we can refresh only some portion of the web page instead of refreshing the entire page. Is it clear? So, let us discuss about how this update panel control will work. As we already discussed that whenever we are working with ASP.NET, whenever the client sends the request, uh, IAS will accept the request, process and generate the response and forward the response back to the browser, that is client. So each and every time when the client is sending the request, each and every time the entire page will be loaded. Again, the controls will be loaded, images will be loaded, icons will be loaded, advertisements will be loaded. Each and every time the page will go to the server. But uh, the main part of Ajax is only to send the portion of the page to the server. Instead of sending the entire page to the server, we can refresh only the portion of the page to the server. In that case, we will go for the update. So here let us discuss a basic example. I will go to the toolbox. The first control that we have to use in Ajax is script manager. So I will drag and drop script manager. And here I will try to... Uh, without Ajax, let us see what will happen. I will try to go to the toolbox and here I will try to drag and drop one label control. Here I will try to drag and drop one label control and uh, I will try to drag one button control. One button control. One label and one button. I will increase the font as well as size also. And here whenever I uh, click on this button, it has to display the current system date along with time. So double click on button. I will display the time label one dot text is equals to system dot date time system dot date time dot now dot to string it will display the current system date along with what time so press f5 and check the output let us see how it is working see when I click on button the time is changing each and every time when I click on the button what is happening if you observe this region here, if you observe this region, the entire page is refreshing. That is, the entire page is going to where? Server. Each and every time when the request is going to the server, the time is updating. It means that what? Each and every time when I click on button, the entire page is going to the server. But I don't want to send the entire page to the server. I want to send only portion of the page to the server. In that case, we'll use Ajax. That is, update panel. So, here I will try to go to the toolbox and I will try to drag and drop what update panel and uh, this is my update panel and uh, here you see within the update panel you have what two templates are there one is content template and within the content template you have to do the design so I will go to the toolbox and within this update panel I will try to drag and drop one more label and here I will drag one more button control is it clear then so here you see within the update panel I have one label and one button if you are not uh, writing the code also it doesn't matter the code will be automatically generated see here i deleted the code again i'll go to the toolbox here i'll try to drag one label and one button whenever you design this label and button inside the update panel automatically the design will be within the content template content template is used to place the design whatever you want to design within the update panel right so here you can see i have one label and one more button is there label to button to are you following so here you see, I will try to select the bold and here I will give double X large and I will change the color also. I will give some red color. Are you following? So here double click on the button and here I will write the code. Within this button one, I will write some code. Label 2 dot text is equals to system dot date time dot now dot to string. Is it clear? And the same code I will try to repeat. Here I will write in label one, I will write the code. I am outside update panel. I am outside update panel plus some string. String plus string is string. So here I want to display I am inside update panel. We'll see the difference. Update panel. Label 2 is inside update panel. Label 1 is outside update panel. The same code I pasted in button click also. Now here you go to the design. Once debug and check the output. So here I want to concatenate. So I will give plus symbol. Here you see. So I will debug and check the output. 
see here you don't confuse i have taken one label La this is label 1 button 1 is outside update panel this label 1 label 2 button 2 inside update panel see when i click on button 1 the entire page is going to the server see this is inside update panel outside update panel so the entire page is going to the server so the total page is refreshing is it clear but when i click on button 2 only the content that was designed inside the update panel only will go to the server see only that uh, red color time is changing that is the content that is available inside the update panel see the entire page is not going to the server observe this region the total page is not refreshing but when you click on button 1 here you see the entire page is going to the server are you following so what you understood here in ASP.NET is supporting complete page post back, whereas your Ajax supporting partial page post back. That is by using update panel, you no need to send the entire page to the server. Only the portion of the page is going to the server. Are you following? So in some interviews, they will ask you one question. For example, I have one button and label inside update panel and one button and label outside update panel. When I click on button 1 or button 2, I want to send only the contents that was available inside the update panel to the server. It means that when user clicks on button 1 or button 2, it must not refresh the entire page. It has to send only the content that is available inside the update panel to the server. So how to do that one? In order to do that task, here we need to use a concept called triggers. Is it clear? So go to the source code. There you can see outside content template. There is having one more uh, tag called triggers. And within this triggers, here I will try to open a synchronous postback trigger. And here I will mention the control ID. What is the control ID? Where is my which control is outside update panel? Button 1. So when user clicks on button 1, it must not send the total page to the server. It has to send the uh, only the update panel design within the to the server and here you have to mention the event name what is the event name i'll mention the event name as click event are you following this is the concept of triggers asynchronous postback triggers so whatever whenever you click on the button inside update panel or outside update panel only the design that is available inside update panel only will go to the server that is the concept of what asynchronous postback triggers this is a very powerful question interview they will ask you see whenever i click on button one or button 2 what is happening the complete page is not going to the server see when i click on button 1 or button 2 only the content that is available inside the update panel only is going to the server so it is not refreshing the total page is it clear now mostly so here let us check one more example i'll try to go to the toolbox here i'll try to go to toolbox and here i'll try to drag and drop on script manager Script manager from toolbox and here I will try to drag one update panel update panel and within that update panel I will take one label as well as one text box so here I will try to take one label control and one sorry button control label control and one button control and uh, outside that again I will take one more update panel here I will drag one more update panel and outside the update panel here also I will try to take one more label and one more button control here I will drag one more label and one more button. Is it clear? That is outside update. Uh, two update panels are there. One is uh, update panel 1, other one is update panel 2. Are you following? So this is update panel 1. So here what I want to do. Here I will try to double click on this button. Do double click on button 1 and here I will write label 1 dot text. Label 1 dot text is equals to here I will write inside inside up1 update panel 1 plus uh, here i will write system dot date time system dot date time dot now dot to string is it clear and here i will write label 2 dot text is equals to here i will write uh, inside up2 update panel 2 and here also i will write plus system dot date time dot now dot to string are you following and uh, here I will try to double click on button 2. Double click on button 2. Here also I will write the same code. Debug and check the output. Now whenever user clicks on uh, button control. As these two button controls are available inside update panel. Only the content that was written inside the update panel only will go to where? Server. Means both the update panels will go to the server. So both the code will get what executed. This update panel 1. This update panel 2. 
I hope you understood. So for more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. In the next video, I'll discuss some more examples on update panel related with the database. Thank you. Have a nice day.